Morning everyone, it's Ali from Dane and Blades. So I've just got a few, it's going to be a short video this week, I've just got a few blazers I want to show you. There's no making in this particular one, uh, but I've got something else to tell you anyway. So first one, it's one of my Cerakoted blades. So it's got the black satin finish, it's got, it's a, a different G10 that I'm using this time, it's what they call Sure Touch. So instead of being it black and orange G10 on the outer scales, it's actually orange G10 with a, a black rubber uh, that's put in between to, to layer it up. So it's got a bit of a, a rubber texture to it. So again, when it's get wet, especially, it gives you that additional bit of grip with it. Uh, but I've got the stainless Corby bolts, orange liners on it, but these aren't orange G10 liners, they are orange glow in the dark turbo glow liners so hopefully that should be glow quite well on an evening i've got a little bit of footage that i'll stick in a corner of it glowing up um and that's after it's been out all night as well so hopefully you'll be able to see that that one's in a, a leather sheath with some orange stitching onto it just to match up with the handles so the next one that's a phallus stalker so the next one i've got is a rose stalker so another one that's cerakoted but this cerakoted is what they call the cobalt color so almost like a gunmetal grey colour. If you look on the Cerakoting website, there's loads of different colours on there. Uh, my daughter's just peeking at me through the window, thinking, what's that silly idiot doing? Anyway, so the handle material is made out of green linen macarta. No, sorry, green canvas macarta. Uh, it hasn't been roughed up, because I know that sometimes you can sandblast this to uh, sort of bring the grain up of it. It's got brass uh, corby bolts added to it, and again, orange liners. These aren't glowing the dark ones though, these are the orange G10 liners. So, but it gives us still gives a, a quite a nice contrast, makes it a little bit brighter. Uh, so in case you put it down, you'll be able to see it again. Again, another leather sheath. Uh, well, I'll put it out the side. So another leather sheath, dark brown again, again with some orange stitching to match up the liners. So my next two blades, something new. Uh, you've seen the blanks of them if you've seen other videos, but it's my filleting knives. So these ones are made out of 2mm 14C28N Sandvik steel, stainless steel. Uh, this one has got olive green macart, uh, sorry, olive green G10 with a, a thin uh, orange G10 liner onto it. Brass pins. So there's a little bit of flex in the blade, not a massive amount, but um, because it's a 2mm steel, if it was thinner, it might be able to. Um, it's got a full flat grind on it with a 20mm bevel sorry 20 degree bevel on either side which is the same as what I do for my stalking knives when they've got a flat grind or a, a full flat on them. Kydex sheath for it, uh, brass pins I think I've just said but um, Kydex sheath, I haven't put a belt loop or anything on these so it's just basically just to protect it but if, if you did want one and you did want to wear it on your belt I can add a, uh, a belt loop onto it without any problem so if you are interested just give us a shout with that one. So there we go. The reason I've done Kydex sheaths for these particular knives is because one that you're going to be working with them for either, either take it, taking down an animal or something like that, so it needs to be able to clean it, keep a nice sterile sheath for it, so I thought Kydex would probably be best for that one. Next one, another one, there we go. This one though has what they call, got the call, um, I think it's a strawberry mesh um, handle. Uh, it's got a black G10 liner with it. So it's like a reddish colour that's got like a perforated sheet in between it, it's all twisted up. Uh, but I've put a mosaic pin on this one, so it's got the bore pin on it, just to give it a little bit more detail. The handle's a little bit wider on this one, just because of the way the material is. Uh, but yeah, I'm quite happy how they've come out. Again, like I say, it's 2mm steel, a little bit of flex so it's be able to work around, quite a narrow blade on it, going down to a thin point. But yeah, I'm quite happy with those. Uh, I've got a few more blanks of those um, being uh, heat treated, so I might make a few more of those uh, coming up if anybody's interested. Again, different handle materials and what have you can be put on. Now, something else that I've got, uh, I have got another video out this week, but it's going to be on my Danum Outdoors channel. And I just forgot, there's something else inside I need to get for this one, so I'll be back in a minute. Right, so after knocking my coffee over, here we go, and this is it. So this is a piece, of, well, this is a deer drag bag. So it's what I've got made up for, um, so any deer stalkers out there, um, it's what I use my Kalashnikov of sewing machines for. Just to prove that 
Alan actually does help out and drag the deer out after one's been taken. Uh, basically, it's a uh, four foot by five foot piece of quite heavy duty tarpaulin. Um, it's uh, so we can wrap the deer up and drag it along the floor. So if I just try and unwrap it quickly now, which I probably can't. Put it over those. Right, so leather tarpaulin. It's leather. Sorry, a tarpaulin. It's the type of stuff that you use for curtain sidings for um, uh, wagon trailers, wagon trailers, lorry trailers. So a couple of bits of webbing stitched onto it. My stitching's not fantastic, but it's not too bad. It's it's it seems to be quite strong. We've already tested it, this idea out once. So. I've, it's actually got a, this is Mark II. If you've watched the video, which I'll stick a link for in the corner, you'll be able to have a, a watch and see what you think of that one. Uh, but I'm probably, it's got a couple of tweaks to, still to do on this one, but uh, hopefully this should be a worthwhile thing to be making up. But, put that to one side. So, other than that guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Anything you're interested in, just give us a, send us a message and I'll see what I can do for you. Other than that, I'll see you next time.